All right, so we're doing simultaneous equations. Now, we have started this already uh, when we finished up before the break. Um, and we did a method which was called substitution. And we're now going to look at the method which is elimination. Okay? Is this easier? No. It depends on your kind of preference with solving these things, whether you think it's one is easier than the other. Um, but we'll go through it. Um, now, remember, when I've got two equations, and I'm solving them at the same time. What is it I am actually finding out? You can remember. Um, yes, Eliza. Uh, the y and x intersect points. Yeah, you're finding the where the two lines intersect. Okay, so remember, if I've got, you don't need to write this. Okay, you don't need to write this bit. If I've got a line y equals three x plus two, and let's say y equals four x plus one, these two are both straight lines, yes? Mm -hmm. And when I solve them simultaneously, what I'm doing is I am finding where they intersect, yep. So I get a value for x and a value for y, okay? So that's what we did last time. We did it by substitution. We're now gonna do it by what's called elimination. First off, this is the, what, the 15th of April? Yep. Yeah. No, it's the 21st. I think it actually is the 21st. No, it's the 15th. It's the 15th. Right. <laughs> if it was the 21st, the play wouldn't be like the next. Right. Okay. So we're going to do this um, with a particular example that we're going to work through. Let's copy this down, please. It's a right, shh, you know. Okay. <laughs> Find the solution for the following to the following. System of equations. Okay, so we're writing all of this down. No, when you write this out, please write it out how I've got it, okay? Because there's a reason to do it. So I've got x plus y equals 4. And then our second one is 2x minus y equals 5. So this is our first equation. And this is our second equation. So we're just going to write it out, okay, and then just stop when you get down to here, okay? Shh. Okay, listening. All right, now we're doing this by elimination, okay? Um, so that means we're going to eliminate either the x's or the y's, okay? Now, if I draw a line under this, how can I get rid of either the x's or y's? What can I do to these two things? And I've drawn a line underneath that kind of help this DNA. Okay, now if I divide, divide which by 2? Divide 2x, I guess. Okay, now if I divide this by 2, I have to divide this by 2, and I also have to divide this by 2, which would make things a little bit complicated. Yeah. But I've written, I've drawn a line underneath, 
because I want to do something to get rid of either the X's or the Y's. Why could I get rid of the Y's? Add Y. Yeah, if I add, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this line and I'm going to add it to this line, okay? So just looking at the minute, put your pants down and just concentrating. So I've got X and I'm going to add on 2X. What does that give me? 3X. If I've got Y and I'm adding on negative Y, I end up with zero. zero, okay? Y add negative Y is zero. So, yes, Delia, the Y has been eliminated. Okay. I've got four add five is? Nine. Nine. So I've got an equation here, which is nice and straightforward. Three X equals nine. How do I go about solving that? You divide three. I divide both sides by? Three. Three. No, what if I said Shh. Stop. So I end up with x equals 3. Right, so I've got my value for x. How do I then go about finding out the value for y? Oh. Yeah. You put in the, um, the 3 where you see x. Yes, good. So we're going to substitute x equals 3 back into, does it matter which equation? Nope. No. Nope. No. 1 or 2. Okay, so we put it back in the equation 1 or 2. Which one's easiest? Y. Yeah, 1 because I've just got x plus y equals 4. So 3 plus y equals 4. <laughs> so what does y have to equal? 1. 3 plus 1 equals 4. So our point where these two lines intersect is 3, 1. Okay, so we eliminated our y values, okay? Yes? Okay, so you are just to put the... Yeah. Um, I think it's a good idea too, yeah. When are we having our... Well, we need to get all this stuff done first before we... It's okay. Now, with these types of questions, you need to uh, oops, think about what's going on here, okay? Because why does the y eliminate? Why does it disappear? Why do we end up with zero y? Y minus y. Yeah, because it's y and you're adding on minus y, okay? Would this work if this was a plus here? No, it would be 2y, right, okay. So let's imagine, do not write this bit down, okay? So don't write this. Let's imagine the equations were like this. X plus Y equals 4. 2X plus Y equals 5. Okay, so I've changed it. What could I do in this case? Because if I add them both together, yeah, the X's and the Y's, nothing's going to eliminate, nothing's going to disappear. So what could you do, uh, Denim? Right, I could multiply by negative 1. Good, and that would I'd be able to do what we've done here. Is there anything else that I could do that might be a bit more straightforward, Liam? So, you just continue the equation, so it'd be, um, what, 3x plus 2y. Yeah, but I need to, but when I do that, I have to eliminate the x or y's, and that's not yeah. happening in this case. But when you get to the y's, you can just minus 2y. No, but it's not helpful. It's not. I need to get rid of the extra y's. Oh, David? Can you just subtract? Yes, I could just subtract them, okay? I could do... What's x take away 2x? No. What's x take away 2x? Negative x. What's y take away y? Nothing. Nothing, okay? So the x is gone. What's 4 take away 5? Negative 1. So what's x equal to? 1. Positive. And then I can find out what y is by subbing it back in. So what would what would y be? Three. Y would be three. Oh, it's still three. Okay. Three comma one. Nope, it would be one comma one three. three. Okay. So you have to. Okay, you have to look at the signs of these things to make sure um, that you know you're either subtracting or adding. Okay. Let me pop one up for you to have a go at. <laughs> uh, has everybody got all that so far? Yeah. yeah. 
Okay, have a go at this one. So, what does EG even stand for? Egg. Egg. Example. Example. Shh, don't stop. I'm just focus on what you're doing, please. Three y minus x equals negative three. Y minus x equals one. So we have to eliminate either the x's or y's by adding or subtracting those. Okay, so see if you can figure out how to go about, you know, whether you're going to add or subtract, okay? Right, okay, look, the good thing with these questions is if you do it wrong, you will know you've done it wrong, okay? Because <laughs> there's nowhere else, you know, your equations won't get easier, okay? Now right, let's say I was going to add these two things together, okay? So let's say I'm going to add 3y plus y is... 4y. Oh, wow. What's negative 1x? Add negative 1x. On positive x. You said okay. Negative 1x, and I'm adding negative 1x. Oh, oh, oh. What is that going to give me? Negative 2x, okay? No. Negative 3, add 1 is negative 2. Now, how do I know I've done it wrong? Because it didn't eliminate either the x's or the y's, okay? I said it about three times, I'm deliberately doing it wrong, okay? <laughs> right, so if it's not adding, what do I have to do? Subtract. Right, I'm going to subtract. And again, we can use our calculators to help us with this. 3y take away y is... Negative 1x take away... Negative 1. Negative 1x one take away negative 1. It gives us a 0 out. Right. So our x's have been eliminated. Again, we use our calculator to make sure we don't mess this up. We've got negative 3, and I am subtracting 1, which gives me negative 4. So divide both sides by 2, I end up with y equals negative 2. Negative 2, right. So I've done halfway there, okay? To find our x value, I can sub it into either 1 or 2. Now, which one do you want to sub it into? It doesn't matter. The bottom one, okay? So I'm going to sub it into this one, y minus x equals 1. So we're saying y is equal to negative 2. Again, we need to be careful. Like, how do I get my x's by themselves? What do I need to do at this point? Yes, Damon. Um, x by itself? Yeah. At this point, we need to add. Okay, what am I going to add? Uh, x. Okay, that will work if I add x. What am I going to have on this side, on the left-hand side? Just a negative 2. Just a negative 2. And on this side, I'm going to have? 1x. I love x. 1. Minus. Read what it says. <laughs> Just read what it says. I got 1, one plus x. Plus right, how do I get the x by itself? What do I need to do now? Take away 1 from both sides. So I end up with <laughs> x equals negative 3. So the coordinate where these two lines intersect is negative 3, Ooh. negative 2. All right, it's not difficult. You just need to be careful when you're doing your adding and subtracting, especially dealing with these positive and negative numbers, okay? But you have a calculator, so use it. Hands up if you got that. Hands up if you got half of it. You got either the x or the y part. Okay, good. So it's just being careful with the second part. Okay, I'm going to put up a couple of these that I want you to have it go out, okay? Shh. Have a go at these for me.
the stone a bit? Is that okay? Yeah. Uh, number four. Okay, now I'm not going to work through every single one of these, but let's just shh, let's just talk through what we would do. So in this first instance, are we going to add or subtract? You're going to subtract because when you subtract, that gets rid of what, John? The y's. Okay, so you would end up with three x equals uh, fifteen. Okay, and you would proceed from there. What about the second one? Are you going to add or subtract? Add. You're going to add because that gets rid of the x's. X's. Right. What about the next one? Subtract. Okay, why do I subtract, Sonna? You're taking away 2x. The 2x. Yeah, the 2x's are going to be eliminated. Okay, they're going to go. So it doesn't always have to be. Because in these first two examples, it was this was eliminated, this was eliminated. It can be the very first ones as well, okay? So um, we're subtracting, that gets rid of the 2x's. What about the last one? Are we going to add or subtract? Uh, Add, because that gets rid of the two y's. Yep, the two y's. Okay. Now, this last one that I put up, I've got 2x plus 3y equals negative 6. 3x plus 2y equals 25. And I put, you may have to multiply first. Mm. Now, any thoughts on this question? Mm. Benham. Mm. Well, you can multiply the top equation. Yep. By yep. And then the bottom one by negative 3. Okay, now why do you have to do that? Because, okay, so I want to, like, you know, if the y is the same. Right. So the 3 and the bottom 3 times 2 is 6. Yes. Excellent. Okay, good. So what the denim has noticed, if I was to go straight ahead into this and either add them together, I would get 5x plus 5y equals. Uh, what's that? Uh, 17? 19? 19. 19. Okay, so that doesn't help. Okay, I haven't eliminated either the x's or the y's. Um, if I go and subtract them, I get negative x, I get plus y equals negative 31. So that doesn't help things either, okay? So adding or subtracting in this case is not going to help. So what Denham is saying, if I multiply this whole top equation by 2, multiply this whole equation by 3, so let's do that. What do I get if I multiply all of this by 2? Somebody put your hand up and tell me what I'm going to get. Liam. You're going to get 4x yep. plus uh, 6y yep. equals... equals Wait, hold on, negative, or it's going to be a negative. Negative. Negative, um, 12. 12, right. Shh, wait, over there, listening. If I multiply the bottom equation by 3, 3 threes are 9x, 3 times 2y is 6y, and 3 times 25 is 75. What do I notice? What have I made happen? Um, you could, but if I just multiply them by positives, what do I have to do to both of them just to, to finish it, like to eliminate the y's? Yeah, I could subtract them. So I get 4x, take away 9x, minus 5x, the y's are going to eliminate. What's negative 12, take away 75? Negative uh, 87. Good, negative 87. 
Let's put this up here. So x is equal to negative 87 over negative 5. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. positive. And then we would put this back into one of our original equations to work out what y is. Okay, so that's what I mean by you may have to multiply first. So again, we're trying to get the number in front of the y is the same or the number in front of the x is the same. 